Here on the Atlantic 10 Network on SNY, Rhode Island moves into a tie for first place atop the A-10, beating rival UMass 75 to 59. And welcome back to the Ryan Center. Ed Cohen with the former St. Joe's coach, John Griffin. This place was rocking from the start. Rhode Island did not disappoint. They are now seven and one since falling to UMass the first time around January 17th. E.C. Matthews led the way tonight. Well, he sure did, but he got a lot of help, Ben. And I just got to give a shout out to the defense for <laughs> Rhode Island. They were impressive. They held UMass's big men to seven points, and these two guys generally scored 24. So let's start with that. They gave up 18 offensive rebounds last time these two teams played, and they only gave up six this time. And they forced UMass into 18 turnovers when the last time they played, they only forced UMass into 10. So I'm going to start with the fact that their defense was completely different here at the Ryan Center. And then layer on top of that, great offensive play by E.C. Matthews and a, another supporting cast of a bunch of others. Matthews led a balanced effort, four in double figures. The sophomore, especially on the break, was a major difference maker for the Rams here tonight. Well, you know, also, Ed, what really impressed me was his three-point shooting tonight. He took the shots in the flow of the game. He hustled on the defensive end, and then he got out behind the defense and his teammates were looking for him. He's able to finish. He's a terrific athlete, but I like the way he played within the flow of the game. And I think his teammates kind of fed off that the entire night. So we look at the updated Atlantic 10 standings. Never before this late in February have the Rams been in first place, but with VCU off, they move into a tie with another group of Rams in the Atlantic 10 with this win over UMass. Yeah, great finish here for the folks at the Ryan Center. They're going to be back in full force. They've given certainly this community a lot to be proud about. And now they're going to have a bit of a target on their back as they come into the last two and a half weeks of the regular season. So those here in Rhode Island, including athletic director Thor Bjorn, they enjoyed this one. 75 to 59, Rams beat the Minutemen.